Hello everyone, it's Anna here. Today I will show you how I made this heart. It's a pendant. I don't know if I can call it this way. And it's supposed to hang on the doors, to be hanged on the doors. Uh, I had this wooden heart. Uh, it's from, I think it's from Scrap Berries, but I am not sure. I have it for a while. And first I used a thick gesso uh, and I apply it on my heart because it's a wooden heart so it will soak a lot with medias so I needed to protect the surface. Uh, I used the stencil from Art Anthology. I don't know the name but I will list it in the uh, subtitles. I also used a uh, a pixie uh, sorbet uh, paint and those are hearts from Melissa Francis and they were okay <laughs> someday but then I decided I need to uh, press out this um, little elements uh, around my heart and then I just broke it so I decided to use it uh, that way. Here is the crown from Melissa Francis too. And those little hearts are from Melissa Francis also. Um, I do not uh, want to uh, have this wood color. So I am applying gesso over my wooden elements, uh, both hearts and the crown. And I am applying very thick gesso because I want uh, my uh, wood to be covered very, very well. Uh, I don't want to have this wooden color. So this is very thick gesso. Mm, uh, I am using my paintbrush uh, over the elements and now I am also applying a thin uh, amount of gesso over my background because I like the pattern of the circles but I don't know I didn't like the color of the pixie uh, sorbet I like the pixie sorbet very much but somehow I didn't like it here so I decided to lighten it a little bit using gesso it's a kind of experiment and I'm using this silicone brush I really like to work with it and now everything is dry so uh, time to apply some color i am using coloration sprays those are uh, the siesta key and plush colors siesta key is the blue one and plush is the violet one uh, i applied them and dried it with the heat gun but then i thought that the colors are not as intense as I want them to be so uh, I added them once again using my heat gun and adding the color using the heat gun by adding the color it was kind of the process when I was happy with uh, the intensity of the color and heat gun helps me to spread the color with this lovely um, uh, edges around the splatters uh, so as you can see it dries really really fast with the heat gun and it was the process of adding the color and drying adding the color and drying and now it's all dry and I am ready to to do what I don't remember oh I am ready to add um, uh, some colors of sorbets and uh, sorbets and Oh my god, velvet, sorry. <laughs> and I am just playing with my finger. The color that I am using, I don't remember the name, but I will check it and I will add it in the subtitles. And now it's the color called Viridian. It's a sorbet, so it has this shimmery and glossy finish. And I am using my finger to apply it. I want to um, have this very thin uh, layer of the uh, paint. And now it's time for a gesso. No, not gesso. It's a velvet cotton. And I am applying it over my crown, but I thought it will be... 
um, it will cover uh, more color that it, than it did actually so I will use gesso later I think or maybe not and now it's time for adding some shimmer I use coloration spray called sterling and it gives that uh, great shimmer but then wow I was very uh, very surprised because it took the color of the mists away as you can see uh, they disappeared I don't know how what how it happened but they do I added uh, the color once more using the mists and now I'm trying again with the sterling color and once again the color just disappeared so I am using um, uh, plush and peacock feathers once again because I really wanted it to be in uh, strong colors and uh, now it's time to add uh, the inscription I wanted to add uh, love rules here but I didn't like it <laughs> uh, I didn't like how it uh, lay on the uh, heart so I created here love rules it's not um, uh, it's not a correct form but uh, I really do not like when the love was uh, in the upper side with the smaller words smaller words under it I covered all my letters with uh, white gesso I applied them um, a few times because I wanted them to be really white and I had these butterflies they are uh, fussy cutted and I want to add them on my heart and I want a few of them to be uh, to be not on the heart but to look like they are floating around the heart flying around the heart so I took this uh, plastic cover uh, took a stripe of it and I oh here is the extra hand <laughs> of my little helper uh, I add this foil uh, I glue the butterfly uh, on the one side on the one end and uh, I glue the other end to the heart so that's how it looks like the butterfly is flying in the air and once again little hands helping me uh, helping me of course it's uh, ironic and they are, she wasn't helping me at all she was playing with my paints and making a lot of mess uh, here I cut out the part when I am playing with the butterflies because well it was a hard process for me with this little helper I also added uh, three white uh, flowers to my composition uh, and I am still fighting with the butterflies I don't know somehow I had this idea uh, in my head it's supposed to be very easy process but I don't know it took me ages to uh, place all the butterflies on this little heart and then I decided that it, the words are just too white of course why not I painted them a few times in the white with the white gesso and I applied a persimmon uh, velvet uh, very very light touch of persimmon it's a, a pink uh, dimensional paint and now when it's all dry I decided to add uh, white splatters uh, to my uh, heart because <laughs> now I thought it was too dark first I was fighting with the color because I wanted it to be uh, more vibrant and now I decided it's too dark well it wasn't my best day uh, with the creation process and here is the heart it's finished I um, also added a some glitter later uh, but I wasn't happy with that and I regret it I, I done, I've done this so yes it was a struggle as you can see on the crown there is a uh, turquoise glitter on my heart but the process was really fun and I have to try this effect with this uh, shimmery mist thank you for watching and see you soon bye bye